The current energy challenges might not be alleviated anytime soon, although the power minister, Dr. Kwabena Donko, is promising a thousand megawatts of energy in the short term to kill off the crisis at the news conference at which many expected concrete measures to resolve the energy challenges. The minister rather gave what appears to be a narrative of the problem. So is there any hope? inside what measures can government show to suggest it is serious about tackling the current crisis my name is steven Enti, and this is today's big story brought to you by lifeline properties quality affordable and comfortable housing Welcome back to today's big story. Now, the Palm Minister has uh, given us a rundown of the problem. One, that two units at Akosomo Dam are down while other units are giving off 125 megawatts of power instead of 170 they could generate at full potential. And two, the Bui Dam is currently running on three out of four units. And there is also low hydrology at the Pong Dam, which means hydroelectric power generation from there is also weak. And four, Ghana's thermal generation plants are down and other plants are limited at 80 megawatts production. Now, this is a brief uh, rundown of the problems which we apparently know already. And it appears that uh, this is a crisis if uh, I don't see signs that anyone is busy tackling these problems. Let's get talking now and get onto the telephone line. Edward Bauer, who is the public relations officer of the Energy Ministry, is joining us now. Uh, Mr. Bauer, we're grateful you could join. Uh, thank you for having me. Good evening to your viewers. Now, I, uh, we, we, I'm taking cue from the, uh, the Palm Minister's press conference today, and it does appear that we had a recital of the problems which we already know, that the Akosomo Dam is not producing at its full capacity, and then the other thermal plants are down, and government out of, you know, from these problems, government is telling us that it has plans to uh, up the power production using 250 megawatts from power plants, barges that will also add 225 megawatts times two i mean i am curious uh, from where you stand maybe you need to give us some level of concrete assurance that government is serious tackling the energy crisis we are facing now yes yeah, uh, i think that i think that first and foremost um i do not agree with you when you indicate that we are only recycling the problem that mm. is we have mr Bauer, mr Bauer, we'll be grateful if you could speak up a bit uh, so we can hear okay. you clearly okay mm. sorry about thank that. you mm. I was saying that I disagree with when you when you create an impression as if we just sit down and all we do is to just go take the same story, come and repackage and give it to them. We yeah, are just is, stating, that, is that not what it is? No. Mm. We are stating the problems. The fact that the problem was the the problem we stated yesterday, if we want to state it today, if that is still the same problem, we just have to tell people what it is. It's just that if you look at um, the statement uh, what the sorry, the power minister said. He did indicate very clearly strategies that are being worked at to ensure that we get that. Mm. He gave us a three-point thing. The first one was that because this is a uh, this is a challenge that is currently dealing, uh, facing right. us, mm. we need to have an emergency response to it. And in terms of the emergency response, he indicated that government was working to get um, a thousand megawatts. Uh, emergency power plants mm -hmm. into the country. Yeah. He enumerated them. He gave two units of the car power ship, which is supposed to be 225, 225, giving us a total of 450. That's right. Mm. He also spoke about the GE. You remember that just last week, mm -hmm. the, the, the global uh, CEO of General Electric was in this country. One of the things he came to tie and then to finalize had to do with they also bring in an emergency plant of 250 megawatts mm. into the country. Then we also have another emergency power plant that we intend bringing to Abuazi, giving us a total of 1,000. That is for the emergency case. So, so but what I'm saying, really, that what you're telling me is just the same thing that I'm saying, that these are just plans. I mean, I do not see that not they've plans. been it's translated into it's concrete it's plans, eh? steps. It's, it looks like they are just ideas we just have. No. They are not are ideas? Things, they are not ideas. These are things that we have started. 
Indeed, all the various financial arrangements have been dealt with. We are looking at, and this we have stated very clearly. You remember that somewhere last, the end of last year, mm. we had mm. indicated about processes that we're going to make. But as I speak to you, I indeed, on the 1st of January, when everybody was at home, the power minister was in uh, Turkey mm. trying to iron out the, diff, uh, the, the outstanding issues that was mm. hindering the process in getting the, the, uh, the car powership into this country. And as I speak to you, yes, we are still on schedule. He's always indicated, and he has mm. always indicated that in April, May, there about these are things that are coming. So it is not but, like but, but we the are power, planning. The, power, the, the minister himself didn't put timelines. I mean, we put the question to him at the press conference if he could give mm. us timelines, but he wasn't able to. So from that indication, yes, yes. it appears to us who are standing uh, uh, aside that it doesn't look like there are any concrete steps. Is this there are plan dependent the fact that on he has anything not in particular? See, you know why? Mm -hmm. The reason why he did not give is because he also takes cognizance of the fact that these are engineering processes. That sometimes in giving just, it's not like I, I, am, I, am, I, am, I am coming to Joy FM and that I'll be at Joy FM at 4 o'clock. Sometimes there are some things that may hinder it. And because of our mm -hmm. history of giving timelines and on the basis of that we put so much pressure on everybody and we end mm -hmm. up not even delivering. It messes up the whole, mm. and it also uh, reduces public confidence in us. All we do know is that, and that's why he said this, this emergency response. When we're talking about emergency response, these are not even far in. They are the very short term, mm. very short term. Very short term. Story. Right, Bauer, that, um, yeah. That's what he indicated. Yes. Okay, Bauer, I... And, I, I well, let's take the discussion to an energy aspect. We'll still keep you on telephone. This is uh, getting very interesting because I, I would like to believe that there are many industries which are suffering as a result of getting 24 hours off, 12 hours on. It's a bit crazy, really, from where we stand. It's getting a lot of nerves up and people are getting angry. And uh, that's why we want to push and get some answers. Energy expert Kojo Poku is joining us now. Uh, Mr. Poku, good evening. Yeah, hi. Good evening. How are you? And good evening to Mr. Bawa. I'm fine, thank you. Now, energy is a big deal. I mean, there are many people who are worried. They are complaining. Uh, small industries are breaking down. They are not able to break even because they are stifled uh, with a short supply of energy. Does it look to you where you're standing that enough is being done? Mr. Bauer has given us some narrative about concrete steps that are being taken, including bringing in power barges and all of that and he has yet to uh, put specific timelines to to it though but do you see these commitments well i see if you ask is there enough being done yes enough is being done but is no, there I'm, enough I'm being done? no Mr. Poku, let, 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 let me you finish know. you said enough is being done no no no, no. let me let me finish the statement hmm. if you ask is there enough being done yes Enough is being done. Mm. But is there something being done to resolve our problem in the short term? I don't think so. Okay? Most of the things that are being outlined in the ministry, to me, are medium-term problems, mm. not short-term problems. You see, what we have is that we already have installed capacity. Mm -hmm. Let's cast our mind two years back. Look, as, um, as this morning, from what uh, Mr. Sam uh, the PRO for the VRA was saying, that's right. that's our right. peak is at Sam Fletcher. Yes, our peak is 2,000 megawatts, okay? And we were in about, I'm quoting him, he yeah. was saying that we were, when we were doing 24 hours in light and uh, 12 hours in darkness, the shortfall was about 350. That's right. And now the shortfall has increased. That is why we are having to now do the 24 hours darkness so, so, and then so one 12 the, hours. The power, provide, the power producers right. are so able the to the question the I the question yeah. I want to ask is that what is that shortfall? Okay, because nobody seems to be giving us the correct estimate of what the shortfall is. Now the question I go back to what you asked. Yes, the GE plant, mm -hmm. the emergency power shift, all these things are plans that are in operation. Mm -hmm. As we all know, short term, okay, when we talk of, of a quarter, four months is a quarter, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, sorry, three months is a quarter. Three months. Now, within the first quarter of this year, all these things that Mr. Bauer has um, put in place. I'm not going to come on stream until probably second quarter, third quarter. Right. So to me, they are medium term. Short term, what I want to find out from the ministry is that the existing capacity that we have, what has happened to it? Mm -hmm. 
And what is being done by VRA and the various uh, uh, IPPs to make sure that this comes online? If it is the gas that is not coming through. Kojopoku, these are critical questions. I will not let you continue. I want to get a quick reaction from Edward Bauer, who is still on the line, so that we can continue with the discussion. Mr. Bauer, you, you heard Kojopoku, yes, right? Yes, I think that mm -hmm. I think that the first question that Mr. Poku asked is a very legitimate one. What is the short for? Indeed, the minister has stated that that at off peak as we speak today, at off peak we share the shortfall is four hundred and forty megawatts, mm -hmm. and at peak period is six hundred and fifty megawatts. Our initial so that these are the figures, these are the figures, and of course the, the, the reasons have been given in terms of our hydro issues and other things. His second question is asking about the maintenance, uh, the, the plants, our existing plants, existing plants, what, yeah, uh, plants. What is happening to them? This is the question he will ask. It's true because if we are talking about the fact that we have installed capacity over 2,500 and our peak demand, uh, so our, our, listen now, uh, our peak demand now is about roughly uh, 2,300. That's the amount we, 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 we should be able to handle this even using a margin. But the truth of the matter is that we also have, and he, the minister took the pain to go through each and every generating plant, mm. whether hydro or thermal, and the condition of it. You see, with the thermal plants, it is important to also state that if, for example, if you take the Abwazi enclave, the Abwazi enclave, if you look at the T1, the T1 came in, was commissioned somewhere around 1995. It was somewhere around 2000. Mm. If you look at in terms of their life, listen, they have spent about roughly 15 to 20 years, thereabout. Some of them are still now, now what it then tells you is that they are in their midlife. So in terms of maintenance work, sometimes you need a total replacement of this, this uh, what do you call it, uh, this mm. part within that. But unfortunately, most of these pla uh, parts are not off-the-shelf mm. items. But you go to a, 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 a shop and just buy it and bring you place order for it. Right, uh, Mr. Bauer. Mr. Bauer, let me, let me just ask you a follow-up question from what you've just said. Uh, you know the new budgets, the new budgets that uh, government is planning to procure. How different are they from the ones which were procured during the MPP administration? Well, I just, you, know, you are talking about this. Are you talking about the one that uh, Dr. Wekumobu was talking about? Describing yes. them as toys? Is that right? Yes. You look at, in terms of their capacity, these ones are... These are meeting plan is just that they are prefab brought into the country and then mm. run over a short uh, mm. a short period and then after that if there's a need to renew that contract you do that but what, what happened mr Bauer, what i really want to know is that what happened to those badges what what has become of them I, unfortunately those things were no badges they were generating units and indeed when the crisis went uh, when you know the crisis was in 2006 2007 yeah after that, what the then uh, managers of the sector did was that they decided to distribute these things to strategic national institutions to serve as standby generators. So you have some going, to, for example, stadiums. You have some going to hospitals. You have some going to some security posts and other things. That was what they did to them. Uh, because remember that they were just smaller units. But if you look at this particular one, we are talking about a minimum of 225 megawatts. Mm -hmm. So these are huge as compared to uh, the ones that were brought in 2006-2007. Okay. So basically, that is the situation. So are we able to put timelines to them? I mean, uh, from what Mr. Kojopoku was saying, if any of these plans are to come on stream, that will be towards the third quarter or second quarter is of this year. Is that what am, it is? I, you see, this, these are issues of uh, definition, operational definition. Mm -hmm. What is short-term, what is long-term? His definition talks about three months being short-term for, uh, for him. I don't want to contest that. What I do know very clearly that as we speak today, as we speak mm. today, mm. everything has been put in place to get these ships. Because remember that they are not constructing them here. Mm -hmm. So everything has been put in place to bring these things. But you are need to state that they are coming on the 1st of January or they are coming on the 30th of December. I am not able to give you that. But I can tell you that as part of our short term, and for us, for our, our short term, because it's an emergency situation. We are looking mm. at these 1,000 megawatts as emergency budgets coming into the country in addition to the KTPP and then the TICO expansion, which also gives you a total of 330 megawatts. That is for us our short term, and that's what we are working towards.
Right, uh, Mr. Bauer, I'll have you hold. I mean, this discussion is not going to go away very soon because uh, we need to get some concrete answers to some of the key questions that we're, we're asking. So, Mr. Kotopoku, if you're still there now, I, I know uh, that the energy minister went through a narrative of the challenges we have. The power, the power minister, you mean. The power minister, I beg your pardon. The power minister went through a series, I mean, points of the issues which face us, the challenges that confront us, including the fact that he told us that the uh, Kosovo Dam is not producing at its optimum, same as the Bui Dam, and there is uh, low hydrology at Pong, which also means that it's not generating enough, and the thermal plants are down. I mean, these thermal plants which are down, I'm yet to, uh, I might have uh, skipped the answers that uh, Bauer gave me, but I'll go back to him and clearly pinpoint exactly uh, what is happening to the maintenance of those budgets and their repair works, etc. But looking at the narrative that the power minister gave us, they are not new narratives, are they? That no, they are not. We've they heard problems, them before. They are problems we've known. Mm. Look, the only thing, we knew this, we, I was on your show last year, mm. Mr. Bauer was on the show. Mm -hmm. um, then we talked of, oh, Ghana Gas was going to come online right. and resolve some of these problems. And Ghana Gas has come on. And we all, we, at that time, we said that, look, Ghana Gas was not the only thing that was going to come on. Mm. I think, let me also um, help out Mr. Bauer a little bit. You asked that. What is the difference between the barges which Mr. Bawa is talking about mm -hmm. and then the old barges like the Osajefu barge yeah. and the plants that were brought in? Mm -hmm. What the present government is trying to bring in is a ship. It's not a barge. It's a power ship. Mm -hmm. Okay? It is built by a Turkish company and there's only three or four of those in the whole world. The world. There, it's a ship that is propelled by itself. It sails to your country like any other ship that sails in and it just plugs into your grid. Yes. So in terms of if that ship sails today, Okay, it will get here at a certain date and it can plug in into our grid, grid, depending yeah. that depending that all the uh, groundwork is put in place. But the problem that some of us have as a Ghanaian citizen, okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is timeline. And I'm sure Timelines. everybody keep everybody. Exactly. Keep I mean, I'm sure Mr. Bar also understands see, that as well. You see, the problem is that, you see, Ghanaians, we don't have a next country to go to. Mm -hmm. If we are going to be in darkness till November, we will all buckle up and be behind government and be in darkness till November. But we need to know when we are going to be in darkness in till. Darkness and still. that is the problem that I have. You I see, think look, that's very to me, fair. everybody is saying that there's crisis. If there is crisis, I think the Ministry of Communication to have VRA or the Ministry of Power doing a bi-weekly conference mm -hmm. to let Ghanaians know that, look, this is what we've done. This is what we are doing. The more informed we are, the more we will be, we will be behind government. Mm -hmm. Right now, the biggest problem is everybody is, 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 is sort of in the dark of what the problem is. Yeah. And making, we know what and the making problem assumptions. Is. Some Everybody of those... is in the dark of mm -hmm. what the solution is on the ground. So if after today, the Ministry of Power comes under the law, at the press conference, we only have 80 megawatts in the whole country. Okay, I'm just making an assumption. That's right. 80 megawatts in the whole country. By next month or six weeks, we are going to bring on board 40 megawatts. Okay, that everybody will now pray and hope and be, be behind that. Them. That 40 so will come on will stream. Come on board. At the because time that they the, promise the ship, that it will the, come. The ship that he's talking about, I'm aware of it. We discussed this, um, we discussed this issue on your platform. Mm -hmm. Some other think tanks were against it. I said, look, it was a good deal. We know the deal has been signed. There are still nitty gritties that I know the ministry is working on. But when is the ship sailing? Okay, we need to know some of these things. When is, uh, we were told that there is a plant in uh, Tema area that is coming on in two weeks or three weeks. Today, some Fletcher said, look, he can say it on air when it will come on. He can say it off air. You see, some of these things doesn't give comfort that the, something is being done. You know, so we need to know the timeline. If a press conference is done, and nobody's going to come and slaughter anybody if you miss a timeline by a week or two. But at least we know that you will be kept to that timeline. Right, so uh, let me let me quickly go back to uh, Mr. Bauer. So, Kojopoku, we're grateful for your time on today's Big Story. Mr. Bauer is still on the line. Mr. Bauer, uh, let me let me uh, divert from... Uh, no, the... no, no, but it's, it's mm. important that Mr. Kojopoku made a point that is very important. Mm -hmm. The issue of constantly informing Ghanaians. But have you done that? I mean, because no, I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have just asked. I'm just, just responding. You were even moving away from that. The issue is that it is true, and I think that it is one of the deficiencies we have realized in terms of trying to constantly 
inform Ghanaians about the status, not only even in, in terms of how we bring in generating plants, but even in terms of even how we shed the load, mm -hmm. whether it is transparent, whether it is equity. And I think that the minister did allude to those things and had given some directives. Mm -hmm. Yes, to by, uh, every two weeks, if we constantly tell Ghanaians what the status is, it is a fair idea. Ghanaians deserve to know that. That is something we, 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 we are putting on board. And I agree, totally agree with you mm. that Ghanaians need to know what the status is. And on the basis of that, can then lend their support to us. And that is something that the ministry is uh, uh, determined to do. And the minister had indicated that very clearly in his uh, statement. Right. Uh, Ms. 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 Bauer, thanks uh, very much. Uh, we'll take a short break and we'll be right back to continue the discussion. This is today's big story. Welcome back to our discussion. Uh, today's big story is brought to you by Lifeline Properties, quality, affordable, and com comfortable housing. I have him in the studio with me, Ofe Day, good fellow, who is a member of a group called Concerned Ghanaians, who have issues with this uh, whole energy challenges and crisis we're facing. Uh, Ms. Ofe, how are you? Sir? I'm doing very well, sir. I'm grateful that you could join us. Now, I'm concerned that the group you come from, what's your beef? What are you really concerned about? Yes, uh, um, we have a challenge about the current energy crisis and then we want critical solutions to you want critical solutions. solutions when you say critical solutions exactly what do you throughout mean? the period we've had some promises upon promises from the president i mean the minister just said that yes, you provide you know, 1000 megawatts in the short was, term was, to was, kill was, off the was, challenge was, was, are you not happy no that was one of the you know many rhetoric. Yes, mm. yes and and we know you know there are critical things that needs to be done they are, they are, they are, what are these critical things? No, you know, um, let me, let me, let, let me you land, yeah. yes. mm. You know, they are, they are critical situations that Ghanaians are facing, or the ordinary Ghanaian, and I know you are part. Mm -hmm. When I was just entering your studio, I saw some big barrels packed before, uh, you know, you know, before in front, our premise. In, 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 um, in front of your premises. Supplying us water. Supplying of, not water, but supplying you with crude, uh, yeah. you know. Oil, gasoline oil. to power our And generator. these are the critical situations. If, for example, all of these costs is incurred, by multi TV, how do your business break even? How can we employ new graduates? And that is a problem. We have, we, we have in, 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 in our fold, we have some unemployed graduates because mm -hmm. of some of these phenomena. Mm -hmm. We have critical issues which are affecting Ghanaians. So, what your, your main concern is that you don't see action on you the part of government to you know, you know, you know, the government. You know, we, we realized this in 2012. Before the elections, there were promises. People made promises upon which they were elected into office. After that, we kept hearing promises. There have been structural, you know, changes mm -hmm. in ministries. Some people have been shifted into some places, and we are still getting promises upon promises. Mm -hmm. What we want to know mm -hmm. from the ministry is when. I like the question that you posed to the PR of the, yeah. min of the, of the ministry. Mm -hmm. Give us timelines. Mm -hmm. For him to tell us that uh, as, I, as, as engineering works, so we can't give timelines, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. we, have, we have engineers as, as friends. And, you know, engineer, engineering is about mathematics. And they put in timelines ha when they can be to able to, sure you know, you know solve, solve, at the time solve that these problems. Promise. These are the challenges. They are critical, uh, you know, you know, you so, know, so, you know so, so what problems you that this energy, pro uh, in, this, this energy crisis is having on the Ghanaian economy. So what, Let me give what, you some statistics. Yeah, okay. From 2012 till now, we've seen a steady decline in the performance of industry mm -hmm. as compared to, to uh, their, 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 their contribution to to um, GDP. In 2012, the performance of, G, uh, of, of, of industry to GDP was 11%. 2013, it came to 7.3%. 2014, it's 6. Point, uh, 4. So 6%. consistently it's coming Consistently down. it's coming down. And Service you think is that same. this is because? This is because of these specific problems. Because just last week, AGI, mm -hmm. they were threatening to lay off workers because of some of these problems. Now, hairdressing saloons are folding up. Mm -hmm. Barbering shops are folding up. Cold stores. People are getting losses, huge losses because of this problem. And for a power minister who, when he was not in, uh, in, in, in government, in government mm -hmm. consistently, uh, consistently had issues with people managing the, uh, uh, the energy problem, even to an extent of calling some of their uh, you know, explanations are mentally um, 
retarding but, but, but it's, it's for fair, today, it's, it's today, fair to say that he today come today come it's fair to and say also that give us just... give us give us issues <laughs> but just, it's, just, it's fair. just recount the problems that we're having mm. that's, that's problematic okay. we want it's, to see critical mm. solutions critical because the, we know we are, we are facing problems Look, it's fair to now, say that he now. just he just came into the ministry. No, 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 so, uh, no, no, no. We need to we, give him we time have, to have, set have, up. Have, so what, what are you going to do? Are you going to throw yourself out we, on we the street and we are, demonstrate? We, are, we, are, we have hailed this man as one of the best energy experts that we have. So we should see something. When he was outside government, he was criticizing. So he shouldn't come to give right. us stories. We but know these problems. We know that we are there, 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 there are shortfalls in generation. Mm. What should be done? I had, I had a problem when, when people are saying that they are going to yeah, they are important power badges. We know that we have an installed capacity of over 2,000 megawatts, but we are not producing to that capacity. What is the problem? Is it that we are not able to buy crude? Would they, you know, government gave us explanation of, you know, expecting gas to, from Atwabo, uh, which was going to solve the problem. It came, the gas is in, it's flowing after the tie-in and all of that explanation. It came in, and we are not seeing critical, we are not and seeing solution and worse. end to this problem. I can understand it's your getting worse. We understand. want to, we want to, we want to, we want to, um, you know, you know, appeal to all Ghanaians on the sixth of March, mm -hmm. which is the Independence Day of Ghana. We want to, we want to raise over th over uh, hundred thousand people onto the streets to protest against this. Right. So that's what we you, want critical solutions. Mm. We want timelines. We want to see an end to this problem. What so is having a problem? You're, you're throwing you know, yourself energy, out on the uh, you know, you know, that on, let, Yes, we are mm. going to protest against government on the, on on on. on on, on the state of March, you that, know that you mm. know that you know just a minute. You know that students of Legon are contributing a hundred Ghana cities to buy power generators. Yeah, these are problems. These are the major. ordinary Ghanaian is suffering. Right, uh, the Mr. pure Mr. water sellers Mr. are not able to break sell. even because mm. of this energy mm. problem. Mm. Businesses are folding up. They I'm are threatening I'm to, I'm afraid, to lay I'm afraid, off workers. Uh, I'm afraid, uh, Ofei Day, we will have to go. Uh, uh, our time is up. My name is Stephen Anti, and thanks to you, Ofei Day, good fellow, for uh, joining us on, on today's big story. Thanks to Kojo Poku and Edward Bauer, who also made tremendous contributions. My name is Stephen Anti. We'll be right back with an interactive segment. Do stay.